Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is your general love reading. I'll try to get as many details as possible here. But keep in mind that for a general reading, this may or may not resonate with all of you. Let's shuffle three more times. The last shuffle. Okay, so what are the current energies? Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, Nine of Swords. I have Air Signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Fixed Signs, Aquarius, emphasized again, Taurus, uh, Leo, Scorpio. And Scorpio is emphasized as well. So those are the energies that I'm getting right now. There's so much overthinking from one of you, you or a past person, about a restart, opening this again, starting again, Wheel of Fortune, the Judgment, being at crossroads, wanting to make a decision, wanting to move forward, have progress in love, but thinking about the past, is this the right decision or not? I think one of you is having this idea that this is a missed opportunity, this, is, this does not have any chance for a restart. That is one of you thinking like that, the other person wants to open a new chapter, a new better one. Now let's see about what is affecting you in your subconscious. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, possibly you see them as acting, behaving quite cold and distant to you and you have this impression that this person may have just friend zoned you or they just see only the friendship here in, as the best case scenario. That is something that is affecting you in your subconscious. Now, what was the main challenge in the past? Queen of Cups reversed. Either somebody here did not have real feelings or they were not deep enough or they were not expressing the feelings that were inside. So problems with expressing feelings. Either difficulties into being vulnerable or not having feelings at all or very little not enough to to keep the connection strong how do you view the situation you think uh, the communication may happen it is possible you have that intuition or it is okay you expect that but you don't see something long term or consistent uh, after that you don't see much maturity from this past person. Now, you want to heal completely the wounds of the past, and you are healing, you are recovering. You want to avoid being with somebody that feels so distant to you, and distant emotionally especially, and being in a connection that does not have any other purpose but only to teach you lessons and feel hurt. That is something you want to avoid. You want more clarity. And you want commitment. You want stability in your love life. Possibly some of you may have tried dating other people, but not successfully. Or you may still have some confusion about a past situation. You want success in love. You want commitment, marriage, something serious. And... If you have still questions about the past, you want answers. If you have questions, you want answers, especially from this past person. But what is your next connection? Your next connection. Somebody is being very guarded here. I think you are being very guarded here. There's an offer of love here. Somebody, it seems to me like a new person has a crush on you. They want to be in a relationship with you. They want to move in together with you, but you cannot trust this person. Possibly it seems to me like a new person, but if it is a past, it may be the case where a past person comes and apologizes and they want to restart, but you don't trust them. I don't see you quite opened. You may... 
want a new connection, you may want to be in love again, but you are closing all your doors or you are not trusting easily others. You think it is just something casual for the person that may be interested about you. You feel like there's some friction there and that makes you very hesitant and indecisive. What is the advice for you about this blockage? Okay. If this is a past person that comes back with an apology, wanting to try it again, and you are here very uh, blocking every attempt from their side to reconnect with you, if this is the case, I think you are doing the right thing. Look at that. I was curious to know what... Uh, beneath the world card and here it is the three of swords there's still lots of pain here but protect yourself from being hurt again from the same story i don't see something better coming if there was a restart here so if this is a past person trying to reconnect with you for now at least those are the current energies this may be closed your intuition might be very right in this case. Not only in this case, you Scorpio have the greatest intuition out of all zodiac signs, I think, as well. This gut feeling, this is very right in this case. That is the advice about the past person. But what are the energies of this past person? I see just attraction, physical desire there. But if they played games in the past, that may be repeated. It may not feel that smooth. That's what I'm getting. The communication may happen fast. You may start communicating immediately. That chemistry, very strong. Reconnecting like in the beginning, but... I do see just physical attraction, not something long-lasting. It might still be and felt heavy. You have the answers already, you know the truth. You think you are unsure, but you believe you are unsure when you have the truth because you want this somehow or you were invested really deeply emotionally in this connection. Now, it seems to me like this is not the right time to reconnect with a past person if they want to come back. You should keep the silence if you want to talk. This is the advice for now. But I want to view more details about what is happening with this person. I want to view how their energies interact with yours at this moment of time. What are their feelings, how they view you, their intentions. What are your energies as well at this moment of time? So especially to know more about this past person that has this idea of reconnecting with you again. I will continue this in the extended video that is in the description box. If you are interested, I will uh, see all those extra details so you will hopefully get more clarity out of this situation. So thank you for watching. I hope this reading was helpful. See you the next reading and bye for now.